What do you see? What appearance are you seeing now? This is the lamp. A table lamp. That's all to it. <coughs> so uh, there is many practitioners practicing Zen and uh, Buddhism meditation. And uh, they meditate, practice sitting meditation, and also they study books. And there are many, many books. And uh, there are books who are useful and books who are useless. And reading the books one after the, the other uh, <coughs> in the head, the gross understanding and uh, after five or ten years of study, uh, Zen books or Buddhist books like Mahamudra books or Jorchen books or Lamrim. There is uh, like a, a snowball. First, the small snowball, and after people read a lot of books, the snowball in the head is very, very big, and they think they understand Buddhism. So. If you read books and you have this snowball in your head, you carry on this snowball with yourself wherever you are going. Like this. Huh? <clears throat> you must uh, digest what you are reading. Digest your understanding. That means you must uh, think through what you are reading and you must meditate, contemplate, contemplation, meditation, thinking, contemplation, meditation. Then you can digest slowly, slowly, you can digest the understanding and you can make it wisdom, practicing your wisdom. That means uh, Your head must become stupid, ordinary, not philosopher, not Buddhist philosopher or thinker, but ordinary sentient being, like a peasant or a folk, farmer like this, or gardener. And there are <coughs> Leaf words and there are dead words. It is said in uh, Zen teaching, leaf words, dead words. What does it mean? Leaf words, you understand. Leaf word, you never forget it. And it will help you to realize yourself, your true self, your true identity. And uh, if you understand only dead words from the books, then you you cannot uh, help uh, other people. Also, you cannot help yourself. You won't gain any self-confidence or any realizations, practical realizations. meditation in your study. For example, uh, I give uh, some examples of dead words, dead teaching. Like this. Stepping forward means that we 
sometimes fail, so be it, fail. There is standing up practice and there is falling down practice. The more it matters, the greater the risk. This is a teaching okay? Another one. Sooner or later we have to see that it all comes down to each one of us. The whole catastrophe, however it manifests. What we do and what happens to us are the same thing. <clears throat> something like this. Practice is intimacy with the full range of our humanity. The silence is finally touched, spaciousness is accessed, and we realize it's okay. All of it. So these are samples of that words. <clears throat> People read books, they get understanding, get big um, snowball in their heads, and they are writing books or trying to teach other people with what they think they understand. But they are using this snowball teaching, and uh, <clears throat> the whole thing is to melt completely melt down this snowball in your head and make your head empty empty of words like that empty of thoughts that means you and the world are in uh, oneness and then you can say a lamp is standing on the table And the furniture is in the room. The window is square. Like this. And I don't have hay now. Like this short hay or bold head. And these are leaf words. If you understand them, if you follow them, <coughs> Then you can realize uh, our canny and you can be one with this light, with this illusory light. Like this. It's day again today. And what is in front of your eyes? You already understand. You already see it. And seeing is believing. And you get what you see. And you see what you get. A lamp is standing on the table. If you know this, you know what Zen is. Like this. <clears throat>